Welcome to Media Dialogue TV. I'm Lena Kronberger, freelance journalist and moderator, and I'm here with the Media Dialogue Project at the Institute of Journalism of the Ivan Franco National University of Lviv. We produce Media Dialogue TV to bring you closer to the Eastern European countries, to shed light on the conflicts, but also to show you their fascinating cultures. The work in groups is at the core of our Media Dialogue projects. So we want to present you some of the participants that work with us in the blog group, video group and podcast group. Uh, hi, my name is Elena. I'm from Tbilisi, Georgia, and I study PR and communications at Caucasus University. I'm really thankful to be here in Lviv, Ukraine, because it gave me opportunities to discover new places, meet new people, and to see the situation that it is here in the Ukraine media. I'm really thankful uh, for the media dialogue to give me this uh, opportunity to see the situation in Ukraine, to compare it to the situation in Georgia, and I really believe that it will give me the experience which will help me in my future career. Career. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Paul Stelmach. I live in Kiev, and here we are with the Media Dialogue uh, team in Lviv, in this beautiful city. Uh, the project is very important uh, to all of the participant countries because we share the same experience, uh, the similar experience uh, with our countries, uh, we, which all have conflicts and different uh, media dilemmas. Uh, you know, and uh, during these days we all became so much friendly with each other and uh, we, we came to know each other much better. So this project is really important, uh, I guess, for international friendship and uh, we really hope uh, for the better uh, in the media in our country and all the participant countries as well. Every day, the participants of the Media Dialogue Project have the chance to visit NGOs, to talk to journalists. And so today, we went to Zahid Net, um, a newspaper here in Lviv, in Ukraine. And we had uh, the opportunity to talk there with the editor-in-chief. Hello, my name is Veronica and I'm the student of the Institute of Journalism. We have visited uh, the, one of the most known online medias uh, in Western Europe, Ukraine called Zahidnet. Uh, the chief editor of this media, Oleh Nisko, told us uh, how this media works not only from the inside, but how the work divided with the local departments. The story of Zahidnet is very valuable for us because there were some local political powers who were trying to mute their voice and how they fight it shows us that all of us all of the journalists should fight for the freedom of their speech and it's like one of the top themes now there's one participant from belarus in our project here in lviv she is now in exile in kiev ukraine and the video group made a film portrait about her current situation, as well as about her time in prison in Belarus. Greetings, my name is Glafira Zhuk. I'm a journalist from Belarus. I work for the Nationiva news site, and also I work at the Journalist Association of Belarus, which is located in Kiev now. I have been jailed in Belarus for 30 days, all because of my material about students who protested against the presidential election falsification. They got jailed for two and a half years each. I filmed a report on that topic and in two weeks the police came and arrested me while I was in a beauty salon. So I spent a month in a Belarusian jail. 
I stayed in Belarus for some time after I got free and tried to recover, but it was obvious that it was dangerous to continue my work in Belarus, so I had to leave the country to continue informing our audience. Later, I was invited to stay in Germany. It was in Germany that I decided to move to Ukraine. There are currently about 100 Belarusian journalists who are working in Ukraine. Also, the Journalists Association of Belarus is located in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, so I have a lot of support over here. I continue to write about Belarus, and today, November 23, 2021, the media I work in, Nashaniva, was proclaimed to be extremist, so you can no longer share the news from our site. You can even be jailed for sharing the news. Our site was the last non-extremist free media in Belarus. Currently, our head manager is under arrest and he could be jailed for three years. Therefore, our journalists work from Vilnius, Lithuania and Ukraine now. For me, participating in this project is an opportunity to learn something new about our neighbors and partner countries. We can exchange our experiences and produce some interesting materials too. I need to see that my colleagues really do care, as we say it in the Belarusian language, that the fate of my country is important to them. We will now share some impressions of the beautiful city of Lviv with you. Thank you for watching Media Dialogue TV here from Lviv in Ukraine. We're soon traveling to Kiev, so stay tuned and yeah, join us from there. <laughs>